I promise this video does not end how you expect. WNBA, NBA 2K25, play now gameplay here for you guys first. Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below how you think this video ends. I promise it doesn't end how you think. And let's get right into this gameplay. The WNBA play now on NBA 2K25 is officially here. And first impressions, it looks amazing with all the footage, the face scans that are in the game. Obviously, you can tell like Cardoso's face scan is not in the game. There's a few other people whose face scans are not in the game yet. But for the ones that are in the game yet, the pro play animations for the people who are in the game so far, it actually looks really good. And I'm excited for them to continue to build out the WNBA and the W side on NBA 2K25. Now, when it comes to the actual gameplay that we're looking at, this is fun and this is great for the WNBA side of the game. But when it comes to the park, Mark Gear, all those things, you'll be getting more footage of that from me in tomorrow's video. But this video is specifically about the WNBA. As we know, majority of these animations, even when it comes down to Caitlin Clark, for example, great animations, great pro play animations, as you can see when I play with her, like it really looks like it's her. Same thing with Angel Reese. It looks really crisp and clean and it looks really nice. Now, when it comes to this, this is not a reflection of what it's gonna be like when we do hop in the city and the park, unless they were a few of my players. As you can see, I was pooping with Caleb Clark. I was going crazy, but you know. And then Angel Reese was dropping me off a little bit. She was cooking me, cooking me on the on the opposition side, but it's okay. So I was just, you know, playing with the dribbling and look at all those moves. And you see the way she just moves and even her jump shot, that looks real. Like that looks like Caitlin Clark. So I have to give NBA 2K their props for the way that the W and the WNBA play looks right now. Um, obviously, when we get our hands on the actual W, it'll be a little bit different. But the stop and pops, the jump shots, the pro play, it all looks really good. All right, so once I was done getting some warm-up buckets, I hopped into a true game to see if I could drop off the Chicago Sky and Angel Reese as Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever. Now I'm going crazy, I'm dribbling, I'm doing all these moves, and then <laughs> we had to start over. We had to start over because what was that? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna act like that didn't happen. So we start over, we start the game over again, <laughs> and we see what happens. So number one thing I'll say based off of the gameplay, and as you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. The AI gameplay they feel kind of lost now i'm assuming that had a lot to do with maybe me being on the w i don't play play now that much so there's probably some settings i should have tweaked on like defensive coaching and that type of stuff that would have helped with you know my ai defensive help gameplay um but i was getting cooked like my ais were not doing anything <laughs> And I was not getting a contest whether it was my AI teammates or it was me and myself putting my hands up to defend against literally anything, which does concern me. And it concerns me because hopefully they didn't revert back to a 2K23 feel when it comes to paint defense and contest systems overall, because they did tell us that everything has been changed. And hopefully putting your hands up, bodying somebody up, and contesting in a smart defensive play, not just jumping at people, has not returned to NBA 2K25. But overall, you see I'm a hooping with Caitlin Clark. They cannot stop me. I was going crazy, but the Chicago Sky were still in the game um, because I was getting cooked defensively. There was literally nothing I could do. <laughs> there, was, there was simply nothing I could do. But 
I was going, I was holding my own. I'm getting buckets with every player on the court going crazy. I figured out the jump shooting, which feels so clean. And this reminder, I'm playing on Superstar, so I'm not quite on Hall of Fame. I'm not, you know, on that green or miss necessarily, you know, type of gameplay, but this is a really hard level gameplay. So this should reflect, you know, what it feels like to play on the rest of 2K at a pretty high level. So as I'm continuing to play and I'm getting shots up like, you know, going crazy and the game is still close. The game is still very, very close. My AIs are literally nowhere to be found. <laughs> and you know what? They're challenging me to put up them rookie of the year numbers on Caitlin Clark. So now that I've mentioned that, let's talk about it. Rookie of the year, who do you have in the WNBA? I think the obvious choice right now is Caitlin Clark. But there's a lot of noise, a lot of controversy when it comes to whether or not Angel Reese is actually in the race. And as you're watching me hoop and go crazy with Caitlin Clark, I need a Caitlin Clark build in the park. As you guys are probably familiar with my last video, I am vouching for a few of my players, although I don't believe that they'll be in 2K25 necessarily. I think it's about time. I think they, that we need them. And with the way I'm playing right now on Caitlin Clark, I do not see why not. You can argue all day about attributes and balance and all of that and the above, but I could drop you off if Caitlin Clark, this specific build, was in the park all day. Now, this specific clip right here concerns me because I'm wondering, you know, you guys saw me match up in the paint big versus big, and then I've matched up accidentally in the paint big on guard mismatch, and I finally get a stop. So that's very concerning to me, I don't know. But again, hooping with Caitlin Clark, you cannot stop me. You can't stop me on this build. Oh, I forgot to mention this, which I will, I will mention right now. Look at my shot feedback as we go through this gameplay and you'll see, or even look at the shot feedback that other people are getting, especially right there. They took out percentages on the game. You will no longer see shot contest percentages when it comes to NBA 2K25. That is confirmed not just in the W and the WNBA, but across the entire game. All percentages are now gone when it comes to NBA 2K25 shot feedback. Now, using this clip specifically, I want to highlight just how intense pro play is. Look at the way Caitlin Clark swats at her defender's hand to push them away. She literally does that 24 seven in the game and it looks so authentic right now that it's actually insane. So more footage of my AI is getting dropped off. <laughs> and then me trying my best to keep our lead on offense using Caitlin Clark and going crazy, getting busy, getting busy on offense but it's just not enough <laughs> it's just not enough like i don't I can know what to do but regardless after playing this i will definitely be playing some more wnba play now when it comes to nba 2k25 making content throughout the year as well just like this proving why there should be female my players and also just making some good wnba content as well but also, I wanted to add, before we finish off this video, I wanted to add that I feel like the W this year will be huge. I feel like my team this year will be really interesting to play with all the new my team news as well. And I'm really excited for NBA 2K25 overall. I think a lot of people are looking to find flaws. But to be honest, I just think this game feels good. It feels fun to play. And that's really what's most important. I think as long as you're having a good time doing what you want to do, that's what it really comes down to. The rest is just a bunch of noise. And as you can see in the late fourth quarter, I finally started to pull away. I was cooking. I was going to the paint to cook. But then I got that dreaded symbol the Gatorade symbol of hell. And that's what that's what everything kind of started going downhill. <laughs> that's when the rest of this gameplay starts to go downhill. It's almost like Superstar just decided to turn on in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. And like things actually started to affect my gameplay. I don't know where my teammate was on that one. Like they went for the steal on, you know, I'm, we're just not even gonna talk about it. So 
Again, I'm still cooking. I'm still trying to continue to keep my lead in this game. I'm here. The Indiana Fever, Caitlin Clark are here. We're trying to secure the W and it's just not working. Like, like Chenny Carter was dropping me off. Like she was dropping me off. I'm still keeping my lead. I'm still putting all the pressure on making them, you know, come back into this game. One thing I want to add it to, I left a lot of the uh, cutoff clips, timeouts, half times, intro in this video on purpose because it just looks so good. Like it generally just looks so good. And I'm really messing with it a lot. But when it came down to it, just a fourth quarter, five seconds left, they got back in the game off of fouling me and going back and scoring all my AI teammates. I just don't know what to tell you. Then I go up three, make my make my threes, and then this happens. You can't make this up. Like you, you cannot make this up. No contest, nothing. This is how I'm looking at my AI teammates right now. Like, you can't be serious. I'm going crazy with the rookie of the year, and this is how you do me. This is how you do me. So I go into overtime at Community Day. We're in overtime WNBA, Kaylin Clark versus Angel Reese at Community Day, and my AI teammates throw the entire bag. The entire bag is gone. And I'm hooping. Like, 2K, 2K, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> you did not have to do that. <laughs> but again, I'm cooking. I'm trying to get there and I'm just getting dropped off. Cardoso shows me a flashback of the SEC tournament at this point. And this is me at Community Day looking at my screen right now. This is how I'm looking. <laughs> this is how I'm looking. I feel your pain. I just got that same shot dropped off on me to basically ruin my Community Day footage at that point and i was just i was so tucked and then this happens so yeah <laughs> we rage quit at community day i know this video didn't end how you expected it to end caitlin clark got dropped off but you know it is what it is subscribe hit that like button i'll see you guys in the next video